In other news tonight, the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation working in a virtual environment during COVID-19. This is allowing them to keep in touch with members to better understand their needs and pinpoint ideas on how to cushion the blow from the COVID-19 pandemic. Aldevis Munnings takes a look. With more than 20,000 businesses nationwide, it's the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation's job to ensure the concerns of the private business sector are disseminated to government and the public. Since COVID-19 was initially recorded in the Bahamas in March and the implementation of the emergency orders followed, the Chamber has been given a seat at the national policy table to provide recommendations and ideas on how to restore and reshape the economy. And Chamber CEO Jeffrey Beckles is pleased that some of those ideas have already Already been enacted. We've played a significant role in ensuring that the sectors that have been reopened uh, with some degree of uh, protocol, safety protocols being put in place, hardwares, landscaping. Uh, we're working uh, with, on retail right now. Uh, obviously, we're contributing to uh, the other discussions as they are ongoing. Not every business is going to be in phase one, two, or three, uh, but the advocacy is there to ensure that uh, they're properly represented and not just represented, but that they're represented in a way that businesses, are be the sectors that are being recommended to be opened, those discussions are taking place equally with the health community to say, look, here, here are the concerns that exist. If we open these sectors, what does that mean for you in the health community? Because at the end of the day, Everything that we do, every decision that we take has to be guided by how the, the safety obligation we have for the citizens of the Bahamas. Government has offered several stimulus packages to help the many Bahamians impacted by COVID-19. Chamber executives are satisfied to see an increase in applications. I'm, I'm happy to say that as this situation evolves, we're going to be taking a more close, uh, a close examination of exactly how impactful the stimulus packages are and uh, recommend adjustments to be made so that more businesses can actually uh, participate and benefit from these um, stimulus packages. But the common denominator for the chamber and government in general is to fully restore the economy post-COVID-19. When you hear uh, NIB reports of over 20,000 unemployment uh, applications being processed, I think that speaks to the impact that, is, that this um, pandemic has had on every business because those 20,000 people were once employed. And so um, very directly, every single business is, has been impacted and our commitment remains working very much with the government and other stakeholders, getting feedback from our members in the private sector as to how best and how safe we can actually reopen uh, the commerce activity to help our economy out. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.